Hi there, Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Who's Lloyd Macedo? Think Personal Branding. Okay, it has been quite some time since I made a video on personal branding. I thought I would just share a few thoughts with you, especially because, um, you know, I, I get clients and I work with them. So in this video, what I'm going to do is share with you 10 things uh, through experiences, personal experience that have happened this year. Um on what I feel are personal branding mistakes or assumptions which are wrong, okay? And I would like your thoughts on this. There are 10 points, okay? And I'll give it to you in no particular order, okay? So you let me know, what do you think? Are these uh, mistakes what you feel you assumed? Or have you, as you know, if you go to someone for personal branding, did they do this for you or didn't tell you about it? Okay, let's start off uh, with number one. Personal branding is not your resume. Uh, many people, many people, because I state, you know, resume rebrand, uh, they think that personal branding is just making your resume. You know, this is, uh, this is a mistake. See, I'll, I'll, and I'll explain to you why. Your resume is a document that you email or you send it to someone for a job application. Obviously, there's a particular image, there's a particular uh, impression that you want to create when you give your resume. But then this doesn't become your personal brand. This just becomes an image that you want to portray to the employer. Now, let's assume the resume is perfect. It's amazing. It's like Russell Peters is mind blasting. Okay, so amazing that the guy says, sheesh, man, I have to meet this guy. But then after he meets you, if you do not match up to the, the, the hype that is in the resume, if it doesn't match up to what you have created, what you have shown in the resume, then it, it becomes a liability. It's like a simple example I'll give you. You see some of the Instagram photographs. The females look so perfect, so beautiful. But then when you meet them in real life, oh my goodness, she is... Uh, 10 kilos much more heavier she looks fat she has pimples and she's you know even guys the way they portray themselves on social media so understanding so mature so caring but then when you meet them in real life they're the bloody a dickhead man so what you're doing is you're creating such a hype you're such a standard where you cannot meet and this will work against you so your personal brand is not your cv okay the resume is just an image or an impression that you want to create with your employer, it is not personal branding. It is a small part of personal branding. Okay, that is number one. Second thing is personal branding is not a one-time thing. Uh, I think many people assume that, you know, if they pay, let's say, for example, they paid me personal branding uh, for coaching, whatever. We finished a coaching session and they're very happy. Then you don't become that personal brand for the rest of your life. It's like, you know, for example, I joined the gym and I take coaching for one month on weight loss. And after one month, I stop. I don't go to the coach. I do something in the gym, but, you know, I follow limited, uh, maybe let's assume I follow all the steps that the coach has given me just for one month that he has given me. That doesn't make me either a bodybuilder or may not make me physically fit or may not even tackle the new challenges I'm facing. You have to be with that coach for a long period of time. So it's not a one-time thing. And by one-time thing, I mean the duration of. Some people, they finish one hour with me. One guy, he finished a one-hour session with me. And he, and then next thing I know, he updated on LinkedIn. I have finished the personal branding, uh, what? Uh, not session. He put, I have finished the personal branding course or personal branding journey journey that one hour he called it a journey or something uh, and he said now i'm officially 2.0 he put his name in 2.0 man one hour doesn't make anything it's just uh, you know having an information or i'm coaching you and then the actual work starts so second point is personal branding is not a one hour thing or not a one time thing it is you need to be committed to it forever like for example now i'm trying to lose weight it's a lifestyle. If I were to follow a diet, the day I stop the diet, I'll not only, uh, you know, gain back the weight that I lost, I'll gain back much more and it'll be worse. Number three, personal branding is not about posting your pictures on social media or videos. 
many people they they start putting edited photographs uh they put photoshopped photographs and um they put videos like you know people when they're getting married they have this uh specially appointed videographer photographer that makes them look like i i remember one particular wedding where this guy he and his wife took actual bank loans both of them took bank loans they rented out a yacht they rented out uh, they went for skydiving and obviously this this uh, videographer you know with drones they they made it look like a movie like they both are lying down on the boat and it's going in the sea and the drone was moving like this and they're showing a shot like wow they are resting and then in a five star hotel they are looking at each other with love and um they are looking at uh, you know on top of a terrace looking at the sunset so they made themselves look very glamorous but the reality was they borrowed money just to show this hype to impress everyone but it was not them in the same way if you start posting pictures of yourself that make you look amazing and videos and big big statements you're just faking it it's not you you know and so your photographs and your videos is not personal branding it is again a very tiny part of personal branding number 4 personal branding is not what you say you are see many people when i start a personal branding you know session with them or the journey with them they say i i would like to uh, show the world that i am a, a honest person a person with integrity i have amazing drive you know they give a lot of adjectives but i always remind them you can call yourself god's gift to mankind or you can be a perfectionist but the person the person or the world that is looking at you they will judge you and they will tell you what they feel you are so if your communication to them is a but they communicate to you b that means there is something definitely wrong and it's not them it is you so you can communicate whatever you want but the reality is your personal brand will be what the world says i know what you'll say now oh so loy if uh, you say that you are good at personal branding but the world says you're bad so that means you're bad yes of course i mean i'm giving my service but then nobody likes it it's like me being a chef i prepare an amazing dish but nobody wants to eat it so then obviously the whole world can't be wrong so you, you, we cannot live with this bubble that oh whatever i believe of myself see inner conviction and belief that you'll achieve success is a different thing altogether here we are talking the proof is in the pudding like this it okay number 5 personal branding is not your logo personal branding is not your slogan and personal branding is not a website uh, i tend to have this problem with uh, specific clients from the west who when they want to take a personal branding session they say oh i have designed this logo look at these different logos and oh this slogan you know conquer your this thing and achieve the impossible and this and that and then they show me a wonderful website with great animations no that once again that is not you that is you, you know, anyone can create a logo i can you can even literally download logos you can get logos for free you can take someone's logo change a few things and make that your logo i have seen people even have gold embossed logos and metallic and amazing it looks like the logo looks amazing but then if you look at them you look at their office you look at their space it's completely crap you can have bombastic words as your slogan so what what does it mean so you're not your logo you're not a slogan you're not a website you're just doing this for your ego for your vanity it doesn't serve a purpose like i always tell people your logo is great everything is great what value does it offer your end customer that is what you have to keep in mind then the next one is um uh, personal branding is not about uh, you know grandiose ambitions of changing the world ah oh, this one is very common i whenever i speak to especially like i said clients from the west and even uh, youngsters nowadays from india and all that oh loy i want to change the world i want to uh, especially click funnels these youngsters i want to transform the lives of 1 million people i want to help 1 million entrepreneurs get jobs my dear friend first you sort out your own shit you like jordan peterson says first put your room in order then go around changing the entire world your own life is a mess what you're going to change it oh i want to make 1 million entrepreneurs are you a bloody entrepreneur yourself oh yeah i am 
How much money do you have in the bank? Oh, that is a personal question. Oh, I want to uh, feed 1 million people. Do you have enough and more money to feed yourself for the rest of uh, the next uh, 10 years? You don't know what you're going to do tomorrow. What are you going to feed the world, man? So this nonsense of changing the world and all grandiose stuff, man. I, they just call, read someone, Elon Musk did this and Jeff Bezos did that and Greta Thunberg is doing this. Oh, I'll also do this. It doesn't work that way. Number seven, uh, personal branding mistake. Uh, using buzzwords. I want to be the authentic self. I want my aura to be felt by others. I'm a passionpreneur. All these buzzwords now is a recipe for disaster. Anyone who uses buzzwords, my message to them is very clear. Your, your, uh, it, sh it shows your, your empty inside. That is why you need to use the crutches of these big words. Personal branding is not about buzzwords. Personal branding is all about simplicity. The more simple you are, the more relatable you are, that's personal branding. Uh, personal branding number eight mistake is uh, this fake it till you make it. It is a definite violation of personal brand. There are so many youngsters who, especially click funnels, you know, I've, I've told you about them. Uh, these guys who are, I'm a seven figure coach. I am, uh, you get so many of these idiots who add me on Facebook. I end up deleting them. Oh, I'm going to teach you how to earn a seven figure income. I've made one billion dollars. And what? You, you're in some uh, shithole, uh, you know, small little apartment in India. And you're trying to put some pink glasses and show nice backdrop, a nice uh, large screen monitor sitting in your room. Hello, friends. I will, uh, I will teach you the secrets of how I made seven figure income uh, in this video. Please like and subscribe uh, right now and I will give the secret. I will also give this PDF free valued at $50,000. I will give you free PDF. We are trying to fool, man. Bloody idiot. Yeah, this fake it till you make it doesn't work, boss. Then personal branding mistake number nine. Ah, people think by paying me money, they pay me money and they say, okay, I'll start. Start what? Yeah, make me the personal brand. Make you the personal brand. What, what do you want me to do? No, I paid you money. You have to make me the personal brand. Yeah, we have to work together. It's like, you know, you know, you want to lose weight or you want to get in shape. I'm the coach. It's not that you pay the money, you'll get six pack abs. No, I will supervise, guide you and tell you what is to be done. You have to do it. Not I have to do it. It's like you paid me the money. I do the exercise. You'll burn the fat. Come on, man. In the same way, personal branding is not about you paid me the money. I'll do everything. You don't have to worry. No, it doesn't work that way. It, it just shows you're bloody ignorant, you know. And last, if not the least. Personal branding comes down simply to measurables. People think personal branding is a feeling. Personal branding is change the world in this. Sense. No, personal branding is you have to measure it and specifically in terms of money. And I tell people, listen, if you're getting into this journey of personal branding, you have to figure out how much money you're making, how much money you want to make. And, you know, you can measure it with how many clients or how much you charge per hour or how much uh, increase in money that you're making. Personal branding is just being in a in the house. I'm a personal brand. I'm 2.0. Oh, I will put this post on Facebook. No, that is just uh, it's it's like a fake world. It's like a virtual, you know, like having virtual sex. Ah, oh, ah, oh, but it's not real. So in the same way, you can't have personal brand. Oh, I'm the new personal brand. No. We need to figure out how do you measure progress. It has to be measurable. So that's the only way you'll know whether you're a personal brand or not. Just by saying, oh, I've become a personal brand. How? By changing your photograph, by wearing new outfits. Like this one guy, I remember he was a, a, a very conservative Muslim guy working for this consultant. And when the property boom took place, from a simple job that paid him, I think, around 8,000 dirhams or something. He got this job with this Australian consulting company, which he got 34 or something from 8 to 34. Massive jump. I mean, I used to always meet this guy. He used to dress up in a simple shirt and trouser. Very approachable guy. When he came next, I saw him with a, like amazing suit and all that and gold watch and 
glasses and I was like, whoa, what happened? What are you going for Hollywood? He even purchased a brand new car. He had taken a loan. I said, what are you doing? His exact response, no, I have to show that I'm now working for an Australian company. I have to show, you know, I can't be ordinary. I have to be larger than life. He actually spent, took a loan and bought a Range Rover with his newfound salary because he's working. Guess what? After a few months, uh, that company regional office closed down. He lost his job and he ended up completely bankrupt because he had taken so much of liability. So personal branding is not about showing off. Personal branding is about having measurables in terms of the revenue that you earn. And that's how you measure your personal brand. Anyway, these are the top 10, I think, personal branding mistakes I've seen people make, especially this year. Let me know. What do you think? Um, did any of these relate to you or have you seen many people do this and talk about personal branding? Anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts. And if you find this video useful and you would like some more like these, uh, just uh, let me know and maybe I'll give you some more pointers. You guys take care. Good, bad, ugly. Love to read your comments. You guys. Bye-bye.